Hi, Scorpio. All right, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm going to be doing a current energy reading for you. I hope that you guys are doing good. So let's see what's your current energy, current feelings like, you know, what's going on in your life at this time. Who is in your energy at this time? Anything significant that's going to happen for you? We're going to pull it in this reading, okay? So let me shuffle and clear the energy a little bit. We've had some very intense readings today. If you have Virgo or Libra in your chart, then definitely go check out the other readings that I posted today. Yesterday, I did Sagittarius, Pisces, and Aquarius, okay? All right, let's see what's coming out for my Scorpios. Anything significant for Scorpio? Allow it to come out in this reading. All right, let's see. Give me some messages for my Scorpios watching. Hmm. All right, we have the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. We also have a King. So we have a Queen and a King that's also before me, one of the cards that I pulled out. So I'll talk about my feminines right now. I definitely feel like you are going to be attracting exactly what you want. If you, you have a certain goal at hand, it's just coming to you, it's falling in your lap. Um, there could be a lot of people that are attracted to you at this time. You could be working out a lot or maybe just eating cleaner. Um, I see you being very determined for your goals or your manifestations, but I feel like the energy that you that that would allow things to manifest quicker for you is just you kind of like staying put, allowing things to come to you, not trying too hard, which I don't see you doing anyway. I just feel like things are going to be falling in your lap. There's a lot of eyes on you at this time. You could even be look like looked at as a leader when it comes to your friends, your family. I do see that you could have um, experienced some kind of pain or devastation. I won't say recently, but in your past that you're still working through, but you definitely don't look it like whatever you've been through, you don't look like it at all. And you're still trying to move forward from that and kind of release what happened in the past. Um, but you're doing a good job. I see you doing very well here. All right, let's talk about the first card that came out for you. We have the hangman. So there could be something that you're unsure about. There could be like a new path that you're being nudged on, or maybe you're even being urged by people or someone's trying to convince you of something, a new path, a new you know way of life or doing things. And you're just not sure. You don't feel confident in that decision or you just kind of, because it's so unfamiliar, it could be a little bit scary for you. So I don't see you making any decisions um, no one can push you to make any urgent decisions. You're kind of just trying to fill out the vibe and we'll see, maybe you'll stay put and decide this is what's best for me. Or maybe you will change. You'll switch roles and you'll be like, okay, I definitely want to try something different, but I wonder what is like, you know, what are you considering here? What is like your top priorities and what are your considerations? And that's making it difficult for you to kind of, you know, get with the program of some sort. There, I don't know if you're not into it. You may find a liking to it, but you don't feel comfortable in that mindset or in that path. So let's see what this is even about for you. All right, what's going on with my Scorpios? Hangman being here, what is that about? Okay, Page of Cups. Hmm. This could be like accepting someone's apology, like, you know, you may not just be ready to do that yet. So you're taking your time. You're not going to make any sudden decisions. Maybe you have to think it out or think it through. Um, also with that page of cups, this could just be like being sincere towards a situation. Maybe it's a situation that triggers you or that hurts you. Could be something that derived with that 10 of swords. But there is some sincerity coming towards you from another person. Oh, okay. Here we go. 
Here we go. So this card is actually in the in the cards that I pulled out for you, but we'll talk about it right now. All right. So we have the six of cups and we have the eight of cups. OK, so you are trying to move forward, move on from something that you were once very much emotionally attached to. But for some reason, it keeps popping back up. Now, I don't know if this situation is trying to make amends with you and trying to move forward with you or just make amends. And it's like, you know, whatever happens is whatever happens. But I don't know. I feel like you're just not you don't want to just say yes and not think about if it's going to be a healthy energy for you. That's what I'm feeling. So you're kind of just kind you're just staying put. You're like, OK, you know, I'll think it over, but don't hold your breath. OK. Hmm. So there is someone returning from your past. Now, what's interesting under that is the King of Pentacles. We also have the King of Pentacles here. So is that like a masculine Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn or someone who, you know, could be very much like into commitments or, you know, very stable in their home life, stable in their career? That type of energy could be coming towards you. Let's talk about it. Talk about the hangman a little bit more. Yeah. Five of wands. You have conflicted feelings towards a person or a situation that could be trying to make amends with you or just trying to show some kind of sincerity to you, but you just feel a way about it. You know, a lot of people could probably say, oh, just, you know, just take the apology or, you know, just make amends. What, why is that going to hurt you? Just forgive but it's hard for you because even the days that you do wake up and you're like, you know what, I'm going to do it. There's something that still stops you from doing so. I wonder what that is. Let's see. Oh, because you still see this person as a threat. Nine of wands. I don't mean that in a way that you're afraid of this person or you're not, you can't stand your ground. I mean that in a way that some situation or some person hurts you multiple times that it's just kind of like your, it's just kind of like the intelligent factor. Like, okay, if someone hurts you so many times, what's who's to say that this won't happen again or they won't try again? So I feel like someone's trying to plead with you that they're a changed person or that, you know, they're in a different space, but you're not in that space yet to be, to uh, invite them in or to be cohabitating with this person in your life. You're just not there. Because with that nine of wands, there's been too many, like, I feel like every time you've healed from this person, like if you have a wound, right, and it heals, this person just stabs it again, you know, and you've been through that with this person or the situation. So it's hard for you to kind of get with the program that they want you to get with. It's like, mm, it's like your, your instinct is telling you stay away or stay back. OK, so who is this king of pentacles? Now, if you are a masculine Libra, then you are very focused on your career. And there could have been time where this situation could have really took you off of your grind, off of your focus. And you're just very like, you know, I don't I can't afford that right now. or I don't want to change focus. I don't want to change direction. I kind of like the space that I'm in currently. OK, but, you know, if you're a feminine and this is a masculine that we're talking about this person could be coming back in. They do have a new change of behavior. They are coming in very grounded, it seems like. But let's see what's beneath the surface. The surface, excuse me. All right, tell me about King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles here. Oh, Queen of Wands. <laughs> what did I say? You're attracting a lot of things, a lot of people, new people, and especially this person. This person is super attracted to you. They're super attracted to your drive and your ambition, how you've been achieving goals lately. This person could be really attracted to your body, your physique. This person could be attracted to just how you're living your life right now. But this person is really, really looking towards you. Um, I feel like this person is in an energy of making commitments to things, people, places, their job. And whoever this feminine is, they're more of a free spirit, which could be a good thing, um, especially if you're the feminine who's been hurt. You're just kind of like, you know, more free right now and you feel good about it. So there is someone hitting you up. It's very shocking or it's just kind of taking you by surprise with the tower and the page of wands. It's a good message. They're not coming at you. They're kind of 
wanting to check in or say hi or popping their head in, but it's very like, oh my God, what are you doing here? All right, let's see what's up with that. Emperor, okay. Hmm. I feel like someone is coming in wanting to take accountability and responsibility for what they did. Now, I do feel like this person has a change in behavior, especially with that pentacles energy. I always feel like pentacles is like behavior. And I feel like someone is taking accountability with the emperor. It's interesting. It's like, okay, you're coming very... You're, you're presenting yourself very nicely. I don't really sense red flags, but my instinct won't allow me to change, to just get with it. I can't really relate at this time. I don't, I don't know why, but something feels like there is, it's dangerous. It's dangerous territory stepping into your zone. So someone can't really put their finger on why they can't, you know, they don't want to be around someone or why they don't want to be in communication with someone other than what they know from their past, which is, you know, proof enough. It, it really doesn't need to be explained. But there is an energy of reminiscing. So whether this person who's coming towards you, Libra, has been reminiscing about you heavily, and they're thinking about all the positive things between you two, because even though there was bad things that happened repeatedly, I also feel like there's a lot of really, really good memories between you and this person. So this person's getting very reminiscent and they're thinking, they're fantasizing, they're wanting to reconcile with that six of cups. What's bringing this person back your way? Like, what's up with that? <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh, but... Hangman, like, <laughs> hangman keeps showing itself. That is just your demeanor. You're kind of like, I'm not moving. And I feel like someone keeps like showing you attention, affection. They keep trying to throw at you like, hey, I'm interested. Hey, I'm interested. And it's like someone like throwing like a rock near you. And it's like, okay, like, well, what's next? Let's keep going with my day. It's like, you're not, you're not even showing them that you see what's going on. So this person could be very confused. They're trying to figure out where your mindset is at. Like, are you open to reconciling or are you, you're not, but they can't read you. This person's been doing a lot of snooping or watching you, watching your social media, maybe watching you in public. So maybe some of you guys work with this person or you guys are in the same community and they can't read the room. They're like, I don't know if this is, because Scorpio is not saying anything. They're very silent. So it's like, I don't know if that means don't come or if come harder, you know? Yeah, the hermit. <laughs> I see you keep trying to retreat farther and farther back. It's like you're trying to avoid a confrontation with this person. And again, not because you're scared, your instinct is just telling you don't do it, you know? It's like, I don't need to acknowledge all of your tries, all of your pleads, all of your hellos, all of your how are yous, I miss yous. I don't need to acknowledge that because that's just going to open a can of worms. I'd rather just retreat. So some of you guys are really trying hard not to be seen, but with that page of swords, this person is still finding ways to kind of seek you out. <laughs> you are really trying to just move forward with your life, you know, leave the drama behind, leave all the tension and the, and the, you know, the toxicness behind. And you really just want to move forward and you don't want to explain yourself and you don't want closure. It feels like you're not looking for closure. You're like, no, I'm good. But this person is really, really wanting that. What else can you tell me about the six of cups? What is this person's strategy? right now towards Scorpio? What is their strategy? They don't really have a strategy because everything that they have tried so far, you have been kind of like acting very nonchalant, you know, aloof and detached, almost like damn, I don't even think I'm getting their attention. You see it. You're not missing it, Scorpio, but you're just choosing not to acknowledge it. And this person is running out of strategies. 
So they're just kind of forced here to just kind of watch from afar, page of swords. So their strategy really is just doing more research on you. Maybe this person is like frantically going through your social media, trying to see if you're in a relationship now. They're trying to put a reason to why you're not responding, okay? Now, what's interesting about this is the Knight of Wands. So it's like something may start up between you and this person where they may just run into you coincidentally, or you guys will say something to each other, but it feels very like, hi, okay, bye. Like it gives like hi and bye. It, it, I feel like this person will be left with a false sense of confidence thinking that, okay, we may build this again. And then you're out. You're like hermit. You're like, bye. So this is like having a conversation and they're like, oh, you know, I would love to see you. Maybe we can um, work something out. And you're like, yeah, okay. And they're like, I'm going to text you. You're like, okay, yeah. And then they never hear from you again. So it's very high and by. What's the Knight of Wands, please? The Star. Hmm. So this person wants to, they want to renew their contract with you. Oh God. I don't know about that. That's a, that's a lot of responsibility. They want to revive this connection. They want to start over. They want to bring some optimism. They kind of want you to believe in a rekindling. And I don't see that happening, especially for my feminines. I just feel like that door is closed or it's kind of like, you know, I want to be nice, so I'm going to speak to you, but you really won't see me again after this. Yeah, this person wants a new beginning in love with you, Ace of Cups. Some of you guys, this is not even like an old person. This could be a new person that several dates in, you're just not feeling it. You're like, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really like this. I thought it was going to be cool, but I changed my mind. So there's like a changed mind here. And it's very sudden and it's very much, and I feel like this person's pulling out all the stops for you, but unfortunately nine of pentacles is an energy where Scorpio masculine or feminine is very independent and not much really, not much really um, entices you. It's like, you gotta, it, it has to be something way different and I don't think it's going to be offered here. So that's what it's giving. Okay. I'm trying to think what else would you want to know about this situation, Scorpio? I don't know. I feel like you're not into it or you're just, you know, it's not like a urgency for you. Anything else? Anything else significant that's going to happen between these two? Ace of Wands. Okay. So I definitely could see sex between you and this person or there was like sex in the past, but now you're not hitting this person up no more. And the Five of Swords. Ooh. I do see this person getting very snippy because they feel like they're being avoided. So it goes from trying to be very optimistic and maybe because this person's feelings get hurt, I do see a snippy energy. I also feel like competition. There could be fight between two people over you. There could be confrontation with someone that they, they feel is competition towards getting Scorpio. So look out for that, okay? That could be coming in the future for you. So look out for that. All right, let's get your last words, Scorps. Oops. All right, last words for Scorpio dealing with the situation. Last words for my Scorpios dealing with the situation, please. What's interesting is that I didn't see like four of cups energy where it's like, I'm not interested in this person or I'm not attracted to this person, but it's just, you know, not ready to move forward with this person. That's what it's giving. It's like, I'm not at that stage. I know you're so excited about that, but I don't feel the same. That's what it's really giving. Last words for my Scorpios dealing with the situation.
Okay, I pulled a lot. Should I pull another one? I don't know. All right, bottom of the deck says very unbalanced and one-sided, okay? So maybe someone's feeling that way about you, Scorpio, I don't know. All right, we have spoiled brat. This has been coming out so much. That's good, you know, be spoiled. Um, hiding my feelings. I like you, but not in love, okay? Oh, all right, let's see. We have can't sleep. So someone's having trouble sleeping over this. Oh my goodness. What else do we have here? I miss you. Okay, we have Sagittarius energy. Pizza, maybe a pizza date or delivery. Leave me alone. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, Scorpio. Okay, booty call. Um. Okay, what else is here? Um, insecure. Not interested. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, the rejection. Okay, let's see. Gemstone, so Gemini energy. Or maybe someone went crystal shopping. Oh, true love, you're my soulmate. So I definitely feel like someone feels like some... There's someone in the situation that that's my soulmate. I know we're meant to be, but there's someone here who's either been hurt in the past by someone else and they're still trying to close out that chapter or they've been hurt by said person. And it's like, I just don't feel that way. You know, we have gay. This came out in um, Libra's reading. So maybe there's like a same sex situation. So shouting you guys out. We have ho energy. Okay, there's definitely an energy of a more free spirit type of girl, woman, feminine, right? Nothing wrong with that. But if there's a masculine who is ready to commit King of Pentacles, it's like the matchup isn't there, you know? We have marijuana. So maybe someone is smoking a lot. There's a smoker in the situation. Maybe this is like your smoke buddy and it's, tur it, it's turning into something else because lines have been crossed, okay? Um, we have, I've been hurt before, definitely. What else do we have here? You make me angry. I'm telling you, someone gets angry. Someone gets angry and they are snippy. And on top of that, they are ready to confront the other lover. So I don't know what's going on here. All right, and then we have, I'm in love with you. <laughs> okay, oh, I feel bad. All right, I'm gonna leave it there, Scorpio. Please like the video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel because I will be posting another um, reading for you very soon. And yeah, I wish you guys the best in this situation. Wish you guys the best for the rest of the week. Have a great rest of your week. Um, you know, be well, okay? <laughs> All right, Scorpio, I love you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. All right, take care.